In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a canceled order while charging the bride a restocking fee. A canceled order is for any transaction that's pending. If the transaction is complete, then you need to do a return. As you can see, for special order number 362 for Ansley is still pending. She's only made one payment and she left, came back, decided that she no longer wants this dress. So we're going to do a canceled order. The first thing you'd want to do is remove the item Alert 8800 from the transaction. You can do that by going to Action, Delete from Special Order. So as you'll see, our amount due changed to $500 as that's the amount of the payment the bride has made. We need to get rid of that amount by adding a canceled item. If you already have a canceled item in your inventory, you can simply click here and search for your item. If not, you can use the plus sign over here to quickly add the item to your inventory. Your department would be under fees and extra charges, and your vendor would be a vendor under your store name. Item type is non-inventory and no tax. The rest of the information on this add item screen can stay the same. Save and add to special order. On the canceled item, we're going to want to change this adjusted price to match exactly what Bridal Live is saying is the amount due. Mine is $500, so I'm going to change my adjusted price to $500. And now you'll see that amount due went to zero. We do want to charge that bride the restocking fee. And I'm going to go ahead and charge my customer $100. If you already have a restocking fee in your inventory, just like the canceled item, you can search and go ahead and add that item to your transaction now. If not, you can click the plus sign and add your restocking item. Department would also be under fees and extra charges. Vendor, your store name. Item type is non-inventory and also no, no tax. You can go ahead and save and add to special order. I'm going to charge my bride $100 for her restocking fee. You could charge whatever you want and I'm just going to change this adjusted price to $100. Perfect. Now you'll see the amount due is $100. To take care of that, you'll take care of it just like any other payment. Come to the payment screen. The amount is pre-populated and you'll select your method. You can go ahead and process credit card and swipe the bride's card. I don't have a terminal set up on my test account. And if you don't process credit cards through Bridal Live, then you'll need to just click Add Payment. And as you'll see, this shows the bride made a $500 payment on July 28th. And today she made a $100 restocking fee payment on August 5th. You can go ahead and close that payment screen. And you'll now see our amount due is zero. We charge that bride the restocking fee so we can add some notes. And we can go ahead and complete that special order. 